plug. A plug from inside the house. So something that's plugged in the house that's outside the house. Ah, something with a wheel that's plugged in. Yes. No, it's not mine. But as a thank you, General Motors has given us at SAE a chance to take home the Volt. Or at least some of the staff to take home a Volt. And today is my day. So I have it plugged into the house there. Not a bad little car. It is a little on the little side though. Keep up. Let's unplug it for a second. Put on the brake. Put my foot on the brake. The glowing blue light. Turn the fan off for a minute. Car's on. Very quiet. Notice no keys. You can back out of the car. Oh. Official. Really easy. There it is. A real little honk saying it's being charged. There we go. Two person back seat with the nice little center console. Little tight on the headroom there. At least for me. <clears throat> And one of my favorite features, it is a hatchback, which I've always been a big fan of. Battery pack down there, where the charger gets stored. See, it's, I have no idea, oh, that's the um, flat. So if you need to, you can actually just redo your battery like that. Redo your tires. <coughs> nice soft feel to it. And this is the gas tank back there. I'd like to thank GM for the opportunity to test drive this. Basically extend the test drive. And I don't think it looks too bad outside the front. In fact, the only thing that would really be stopping it is, uh, the only thing that would really be stopping it from 
being out in the front is it is a version one car, so it's a little on the pricey side. Uh, MSRP around forty-one thousand seventy-five hundred dollar credit, so still in the lower thirties, which is a little bit pricey for a car. But I understand first gen technology, and very nice shiny wheels there. Hope you enjoyed this walk around. I was able to drive it home from work and drive around the city a little bit, around thirty-five miles or so only on electricity, so I did not have to, the motor didn't come on at all. Uh, if I left now, right now it is plugged in when I got home, around 7 o'clock or so, and according to the onboard computer, it's going to take to around 5 in the morning to plug it, to charge up. So that will not be happening, more than likely it will be till plugged in for another hour or so and we'll see how the the regular motor works tomorrow morning when I'm on my way back to work after driving another 25 miles. So hope you enjoyed this.